coffee. Um, yeah. Morning from LA, El Paso, Texas. How you guys all doing during the quarantine? You guys staying sane? You guys all good? Half El Salvadorian, yeah, I'm half El Salvadorian. Half Salvi. San Fernando, trying to stay sane? Yeah, how are all you mamas out there with kids? Oh, is that the JD Pardo that keeps, look at that. There's the JD Pardo right there that keeps, um, I keep getting messages about who's going around talking to people saying that they're me. So, so stupid. You're going insane. It's tough with kids, man. You know, I got so much respect for mamas out there and single parents who, um, you know, the quarantine's never easy. It's not easy. It's tough. Um, you know, these are tough times that we're going to get through it. But, man, you're blessed if you don't have, uh, not that you're blessed, but so much work if you got to work and then you have kids and you got kids you got to take care of them and watch them i mean it's a lot it's a lot hang in there working kids is crazy yeah yeah it's really tough it is really tough you know it's just it's a lot of energy that you're using and it's just constant you know and i'm sure you want to talk to an adult have an adult conversation and just willing to want to put a pause on your day, a timeout, but you know, can't do that to children. Yeah, teacher and working full time. Yeah, absolutely. You miss adulting. Yeah. You got teenagers? Well, at least you can say, you know, go read something or go to your room or go do something. You know, at least you got that. My dog just came out. Where am I? I'm in California. How am I dealing with all of it? Um, I'm good. I'm good. Um, you know, it's... Um, obviously, you know, you got to figure things out to do. And I remember one time I was going to screenwriting at UCLA. Um, this was maybe right after... Um, I had just filmed Twilight or right before Twilight, something like that. And I was going to screenwriting. And um, in UCLA, I saw, like, in an elevator when I was going up to the class, I saw um, this, like, sign that said, the person that's going to survive is not the strongest. And it's not the smartest. The person that's going to survive is the person that's most willing to adapt. And I've, I've thought about that a lot and you think about different circumstances and everything that changes and that's 100 percent true um because it's not physical it's not what you know at times it's who's willing to say okay this is the present moment and um and i have to adapt <clears throat> so 
You gotta adapt, right? My favorite song. I don't know if I have a favorite song. Um, you know, my older sister, um, she was really big, like, in the 80s, you know, she was listening to Morrissey or The Smiths or Depeche Mode or Fleetwood Mac or Pixies or um, her just library of music and that's all she would do is just play, play records over and over and so I was really influenced by that I just have I just love music all kinds of music Kept riding through this world what is my workout playlist that's a good one um I don't really have, a, I mean, sometimes I'll listen to music, but other times I'll listen to, like, motivational speakers sometimes. Um, right now I've been listening to Jocko's podcast. Um, the uh, What was, oh, I'm going to have to go, but um, I'll leave you all with this. I was listening to Jocko's po podcast. He's Elgin's brother, Elgin James' brother, and... Um, and it was about how we measure ourselves. And he was using the guidelines or like the code of conduct in the military and how they measure themselves. And how sometimes we think that we, we like should get a perfect score in an area because we think we did enough. And then he gave the definition of the military of what, you know, where you're at. And it's like, if you do, it, it was um, like, if you're ex, if you excel at something the de like I think a part of the definition of that was that other people outside sources, not just people in your circle, seek your advice or seek your help um, if you're an expert in something. And I was like, wow, um, it blew my mind. Anyway, uh, I listen to things like that when I work out because it pushes me, you know, and I think you got to be pushed. You have to be pushed. Anyway, um... It's um, just a little too late in the morning for me. And um, I'm looking at that bench bar. I got to start hitting the weights. Anyway, um, hope you all stay safe. Sorry I jumped on a little late today. I uh, got a little bit of a late start. So I'll try to get in um, maybe like 5.30 tomorrow. We'll see. Or 3 in the morning for all you early birds. <laughs>